Today I wanted to walk you through how I made these beautiful resin coasters. For a while now I've been asked if I had coasters available through my art store. For those of you who don't know, I sell oil paintings, fine art prints, and other merchandise products through my store. However, I never had coasters available up until recently, so I decided to start playing around with resin. And this was my first attempt at making coasters, but I love how they turned out, so I'm going to show you guys how I did that. So to start, I'm simply rinsing the coasters here in some warm water so that I can get any dust particles off of them. Here I have my coaster molds laid out along with the materials that I'll need to make them. I'm doing two different sets here. So these cups I ordered online, they're for resin specifically, and I'm just measuring out two ounces of the hardener and then another two ounces of the resin. And immediately what you wanna start doing is mixing this up and you want to mix it for a good three minutes without stopping. This kind of starts the reaction between the two products to create the resin that you need to start pouring. So like I said, you'll want to mix your hardener and your resin together for about three minutes straight. And then after that, you have about 45 minutes or so to work around with your resin before it starts to harden. So here I'm basically just pouring enough resin into my molds to cover the bottom of them. So then with my tweezers, I'm just going to pick up some of the dried florals and place them down onto my resin. Now I'm patting them down a little bit into the resin. However, I don't need them to be completely submerged just yet because we're gonna be doing another layer on top of this whenever I have all of the pieces placed out how I'd like them. So this takes a little bit of time, but this is the fun part. Just be mindful whenever you're doing this that the side that's facing up towards you is actually gonna be the back of the coaster. So whenever I'm laying the flowers down, I'm putting the front of them facing down towards the resin, towards the table, if that makes sense. So that when I take them out of the molds, I flip them over and all of the flowers are facing the right way. Now when you do this, I do want to point out that resin can be very toxic. So you want to make sure you're taking precautionary measures to make sure that you're being safe when you're using resin. I have gloves on along with a respirator and I'm doing this out in my garage with the garage door open so there's plenty of air ventilation getting through and I have fans running as well and I also have protective goggles on. I look a little crazy but whatever you need to do to make sure that you're safe. Um, I also have on long clothing, long pants, and a long shirt so that I don't get any of this on my skin. You don't want the resin to ever splash up and potentially get in your eye or on your skin, anything of that. It's very toxic in this phase whenever it is liquid before it has hardened for the first 24, 48 hours. So just make sure if you are going to approach resin that you have the proper equipment to do it in a safe manner. So after that, you're just going to take the remainder of your resin and pour it on top of the coasters. We're just trying to fill out the rest of the molds here. And your floral pieces will probably move around a little bit at this point. It's inevitable, but you can always go back through and move them around while the resin's still wet. And at this point, it's also important to make sure that any of the flower pieces that are still on top of the resin do need to be submerged. So if I have any florals kind of poking out of the top, I'm going to be taking my tweezers and just pushing them into the resin a little bit more so that they're actually in the center of the coaster and we don't have any pieces 
hanging out of our molds. All right, so now we're on to our beach coasters. For these, I'm gonna mix up a new batch of resin and we're also gonna be adding in mica powders to pigment our resin instead of just using the clear resin by itself. some of this um, I guess it's like a glitter it imitates sand though and I wanted to use that for these coasters so I'm putting a little bit of that in here along with some gold mica powder and some iridescent white mica powder to create the color that I want for the sand I'm just mixing that up in my resin And as for the color of the ocean water, instead of mixing up three different shades, I, in the same cup, just started with my lightest blue that I was gonna need, and then anytime I put down a new layer, I was just adding a little bit more pigmented blue on top to give the water a deeper color effect so that it actually looked like a gradient of three different colors whenever I poured these out. For these beach coasters, I'm actually gonna be using my circular molds. I start by just laying down a little bit of my sand color to the far left of the coasters and then I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of the clear resin and just do a line between the sand and where the ocean water is going to meet. After that, I'm laying down my first and lightest color ocean water that I mixed up. And then after I get that poured out, I'm gonna actually take my darker blue mica powders and mix them into the light blue that I already have made and make a gradient of three different shades of blue so that the ocean water looks like it's getting darker and darker as I fill in these molds. So then I'm just going to take my little starfish and place them down here in the sand. 
so I accidentally forgot to record the final step that I made. To complete these beach coasters, I also did one final layer with a little white lacing on the water to make it look like it had some wave effects on the top. Um, I'll show that in another video if anyone's interested. I just forgot to record it, but that's how I finished those. You want to give your projects at least like 72 hours to dry completely before you start messing with them. Um, longer on projects that are a lot larger and deeper pores that take longer to cure, obviously. But for these coasters, I just needed three days and they were ready to take out of their mold. So I took out the floral coasters and then I'm just using this oil-based opaque metallic paint marker and this is a really beautiful gold. Um, I've searched around for a lot of different golds to do this project and this one was by far my favorite one I've landed on yet. And I'm gonna just color on the outside of these floral coasters this gold so that it gives it a little nice detailing around the edges. And that's about all it took to make these resin coasters. I hope you guys learned something new today and enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here with me. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.